welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, we're installing one of my absolute must-have parts on the S2000, and that's gonna be the Spoon Sports calipers, along with the EVC rotors and EVC pads. So, let's get to the install, add some stopping power to the S2000, and let's get into it. back brakes they might even be original to the car let's see they still say Honda on them it look like they have some fairly decent life left on them but I have all four might as well change all four while I'm here so let's knock this off we'll do just like how we did the CRX we'll do just the driver's side on video there's no need to show both and then we'll do like a cinematic reveal once the front spoon calipers are on both sides let's do it so we're gonna start with knocking these free as a, so you can free up the caliber from the from the bracket. Uh, I already broke these free. And then from here we'll just push the piston piston back, with the caliper tool, and then knock the bracket off. Okay. All right, let's save these. look like they have some good life left too oh well oh well we got new ones we'll use those all right we got the piston going back in i think that's all the way just keep going a little more all right it's all the way in Here for now. All right, we got that free, so I'm just gonna buzz these off with the electric ratchet. There we have it. We got the caliper bracket out. Let's check these. This one's a little... Oh, no. All right, we'll grease those up a little bit before we put them back. And let's knock the rotor off. Literally. There we go. We got the rotor on there, putting the bracket back on.
driver's side done. Almost done. Isn't that such a good looking combination? The green and the, uh, the black of the rotor there. I really like how these look already. It's gonna look really nice with the spoon calipers in the front. All right, so let me hurry up and knock this out so we still have some daylight while we're doing the rest of the car. And I'll join you up front when we're working on the front. All right, let's start with removing 17's holding the front caliper. Taking the bolt that holds the cable in place out. Now we can just let the caliper hang there for now. Grab the hammer. Alright. Let's give her just a little little brush in it. Alright, so just like the instructions say, we have to trim the little ears off of the dust shield here and here. So we're going to grab the grinder, cut those off, mount everything up, and then throw the spoon caliper on. I'm really excited to see how this looks. Alright, so the angle grinder made short work of that. Figured that would happen. So let's start throwing on the spoon stuff. Alright, so the spoon caliper set comes with its own specific hardware. And it requires you to use a washer on the bolt for the caliper bracket. So this is just the same 17s, just like the original ones. Just a little bit longer to compensate for the longer arm there. So let's put these guys in. Oh, got to hammer this down flat too. What one? And I'm filming. I'm talking to the people who watch this. All five of y'all. I appreciate y'all. So I'm gonna grab the hammer, flatten this down, and then we can fit this flush. I only know I had to do this because I already did the passenger side. And now we're onto the drivers. Got the old five pounder to make short work of this. And done. Hello. All right, just goes like this. 17 in the back like you normally would. Get one. Two. Then right. now we can hit this with the gun and give it all the ugga duggas. Probably a torque spec for this, but tight is tight. Grab the rotor, straighten this out, throw in all the rest of the new stuff. I laughed so hard. Oh, these are great. There we go. Let's go 
a little shit in the thread from shipping. Some people say oh, this is the only benefit to the spoon calipers. It's the quick pad changing. But they add to the aesthetics of the car. So that's two things they do. EBC pads in here, it had two little locating nubs, but since these are the four pistons, they get in the way of the pistons themselves, had to grind them flat, and they kind of like painted up on the sides way too much and they wouldn't fit, so we just grinded them down a tiny little bit, and now everything works. Front one. And there they are. They're in. And they're in. Connect the line and then start bleeding them. Bump them. Huh? Yep. So a little concern with clearance, because these spoon calipers do sit out a lot further than the original calipers did, but it looks like I've got maybe seven, eight millimeters of clearance. And I, I'll put the specs of my wheels in the description. I believe they're plus 38 in the front. I'll take a look at the back of the wheel because I got to do some stuff to it in a little bit anyways that the front wheel has to come off. So I'll get that for you guys. So that concludes the spoon caliper install for the S2000. 
And if you got to this point in the video, thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate you. Do make a lot of jokes about the limited amount of subscribers we have, but appreciate each and every single one of you. Thank you again. So, we'll start to get some driving impression videos of the S2000 soon since the world's starting to open up again and we can register additional cars. So that's coming soon. It really threw everything off because come February, this was supposed to be registered, but things started going a little out of control. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. So we're getting ready to film the next one. We'll see you then.